Change is coming fast to this planet. Scientists have warned us for 30 years that we were changing the climate, and now those predictions are coming true with a vengeance. By changing, I don't mean improving. When the five hottest years on record have all taken place since 2010, when 2017's hurricane season causes more damage than any other disaster in U.S. history, when California wildfires devastate a million acres, when weather events cost the American economy alone $240 billion a year, then it's time to stop talking about climate change and call it what it really is, a climate crisis. So, how'd we get into this mess? Simple, by relying so heavily for so long on fossil fuels for our energy. Burning all that oil and coal and gas dumps so much carbon in the atmosphere that it's trapping more of the sun's heat than it releases. That means higher temperatures, more extreme weather, and eventually a climate that can no longer sustain civilization as we've known it. How soon is eventually? That's a fair question. Every day that we continue burning fossil fuels, that eventuality comes closer. Our grandchildren's lifetime? Our children's lifetime? Our lifetime. Maybe some people are willing to take that chance with their kids. I'm not. The good news is, there's a fair chance we can still avert this crisis by moving toward renewable energy sources and by using less energy in the first place. But only if we act collectively, decisively, and fast. In the next few videos, I'll be discussing some of the major changes we can make to address this idea, from the national government level to the media and down to what you and I can do individually. I've been writing about the climate crisis for 30 years. Uh, I worried for a long time. And then I started to take action, organizing with others to help force change. I can't guarantee we'll win, but I can guarantee that we're going to fight and that we need you involved.